New words and examples. Alternate. To alternate means to switch back and forth between two things. The best exercise alternates muscle and heart strengthening. Apologetic. If someone is apologetic, they are sorry about something. The boy felt apologetic after losing his sister's favorite toy. Benign. If something or someone is benign, they do not hurt anyone. Many spiders look scary, but most are actually benign. Char. To char means to burn something so that it turns black. While Frank went inside to get the mustard, he accidentally charred the hot dogs. Clarify. To clarify means to make something easier to understand by explaining it. Drew tried to clarify all the functions of Michelle's new computer. Dogged. When someone's actions are dogged, they try hard to continue something. Her dad bought her a new jacket after her dogged request for one. Distress. Distress is the feeling of being upset or worried. Failing a class caused the student a lot of distress. Ensue. To ensue means to happen after something. After a few minutes of lightning, thunder ensued. Gasp. To gasp means to make a noise by quickly breathing in when surprised. John always gasps when watching a scary movie. Negotiate. To negotiate means to try to make an agreement through discussion. Mario and Joe took a long time negotiating the contract between the companies. Overdose. An overdose is an instance of taking or having too much of something. John's skin was burned from an overdose of sunshine. Persuasion. Persuasion is the act of making someone do or believe something. The persuasion of his argument convinced the customer to buy the laptop. Relay. A relay is a race in which teams of runners or swimmers race against each other. Jerry was the fastest on his team, so he ran the last part of the relay. Reluctance. Reluctance is a feeling of not wanting to do something. Jesse took out the trash with great reluctance. Restate. To restate something means to say it again or in a different way. Mrs. Jones restated the test question to the class. Sesame. Sesame is an herb that is grown for its small seeds and its oil. I used the buns with the sesame seeds on them. Sip. To sip something means to drink a small amount at a time. Liza relaxed on the beach, sipping fruit juice through a straw. Verge. The verge is the point at which something is about to happen. Joan was on the verge of leaving her house when the phone rang. Wary. If someone is wary, they are cautious or mistrusting. She was wary of going to school because she hadn't done her homework. Waver. To waver is to be unable to decide between two choices. I wavered between eating the apple or the cake for a snack. A bet. Russell finished running a relay and joined his friend Becky in the cafeteria. He asked, "What's for lunch?" "Sesame chicken." "It's okay, except the meat's charred." "Oh, and watch out for the chili peppers," Becky said. "Chilies don't bother me," said Russell. "My stepmother says you should be careful with them," replied Becky. An argument ensued about eating chilies. "Chilies aren't so bad." I bet I can take more bites of this chili than you," Russell said. Becky was wary of eating the pepper. Despite her reluctance, she didn't want to say no to the bet. She wavered about whether to do it or not. She negotiated the details. "What will the winner get?" she asked. "The loser has to carry the winner's books for a year. I'll even let you go first," Becky replied. "Fine, but to clarify, you'll carry my books for the entire school year, right?" Russell restated the agreement. "That's right." I'll carry your books all year if you win, which you won't. His dogged persuasion convinced her. The chili looked benign, but Becky knew it could cause a lot of pain. She bit the bottom of the pepper. Surprisingly, she felt nothing. My turn," said Russell. He bit the middle of the chili. Immediately, he seemed to be in distress. He gasped, and his face alternated between brave and pained expressions. He experienced an overdose of spice. He was on the verge of tears and finally let out a horrible cry. "Take this," said Becky, handing him her drink. "That was awful," he said, continuing to sip from the glass. That night, Becky researched chilies. The next day, she said in an apologetic voice, 
I read that the hot part of chilies is in the middle, where the seeds are. I'm sorry, I feel like I cheated by going first. Russell was relieved. Not only did he learn something new about chilies, but he learned that Becky was a good friend. New words and examples. Ashore. If something goes ashore, it goes from water to the land. After a long day of fishing, Glenn pulled his boat ashore so it wouldn't float away. Contradict. To contradict means to state the opposite of what someone else has. Ken was always fighting with his little sister because she kept contradicting him. Counterpart. A counterpart is something that is very similar to something else in what it does. Our manager will meet our rival company's counterpart later today. Devoid. When something or someone is devoid of a thing, they are missing it. The movie was devoid of any violence, so it was a perfect movie for the family. Diverge. To diverge is to become different or to follow a different direction. The road diverged into two paths that led to our houses. Elude. To elude means to avoid being caught by something. The rabbit eluded the wolf by hiding in a bush. Embryo. An embryo is a human or animal that is still growing inside its mother. Some doctors say that what a mother eats has a big effect on her embryo. Fend. To fend off something means to push it away and avoid it. Dave spent all night fending off bugs instead of sleeping. Fictitious. When something is fictitious, it is made up and not real. The author said that the characters in her book were completely fictitious. Gazette. A gazette is a newspaper. Alice wants to write for a gazette when she's older. Homogeneous. If something is homogeneous, it is made up of things which are all the same. All of the houses on Victor's block were boring and homogeneous. Obstruct. To obstruct something means to get in its way. The car broke down on the road and obstructed traffic for hours. Plunge. To plunge means to move down into something very quickly. The water in the pool was very cold, but the boy plunged in anyway. Prolong. To prolong means to make something last for a longer time. Sandy walked slowly across the beach, trying to prolong her lunch break. Publicize. To publicize is to make something get a lot of attention. The company publicized the job positions in the newspaper. Sparse. If something is sparse, there is not very much of it in a big area. Rob spent Saturday in his garden, clearing out the sparse weeds. Surplus. A surplus is an extra amount of something. The store sold their surplus items on sale. Theorize. To theorize means to develop ideas about something. They enjoyed theorizing about how things worked. Verify. To verify means to find out if something is true. Julian called the movie theater to verify that the movie started at nine. Vigorous. If something or someone is vigorous, they use a lot of energy. Henry uses vigorous exercise to keep himself in shape. Amazing Komodo dragons. Once a British Gazette had an unusual story. Scientists at a zoo made a discovery about Komodo dragons. Komodo dragons are giant lizards that grow up to two and a half meters long. A female lizard at the zoo had babies. However, it had never been around a male lizard in its entire life. After the scientists publicized their discovery. Many people thought it was fictitious, but it was true. It was discovered that female Komodo dragons can have babies without the help of their male counterparts. This contradicts what scientists know about how most animals have babies. In most cases, there are many things that can obstruct this type of reproduction. For example, adult males and females carry different genes needed to make an embryo. If the genes are homogeneous. The babies are weaker and have genetic problems. Over time, the weakened species dies out completely. This makes it necessary for the male to be involved. However, scientists verified that when Komodo babies are born, their genes aren't the exact same genes as their mother. Also, they are devoid of any genetic problems. Scientists theorize that Komodo dragons develop the ability 
because it helps the species fend off extinction. If a volcano erupts, lava can kill all of the Komodo dragons on an island. However, as long as one female eludes death, she can prolong the survival of the species. Luckily, Komodo dragons are vigorous swimmers, so the surviving female can plunge into the ocean and swim to another island. When she comes ashore, she can reproduce by herself. Over time, the genes within the population diverge. Then the sparse population increases. Once again, there was a surplus of lizards on one island. Scientists think that this may be how the lizards took over all of the islands in that area. New words and examples. Artery. An artery is a tube that takes blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Eating healthily keeps your arteries clean so blood can flow with ease. Deterioration. Deterioration is the act of becoming worse. The lack of care led to the deterioration of the house. Elusive. If something or someone is elusive, they are hard to find. The elusive fish only came out at night. Forage. To forage means to look around for food. Many animals hide food in the fall since little can be foraged in winter. Impede. To impede something means to keep it from moving or going forward. The barrier impeded our ability to get closer to the building. Induce. To induce something means to make it happen. Running without good shoes may induce leg pain. Inseparable. If two things are inseparable, they can't be separated. Denise and Diana have been inseparable since they first met. Invalid. If something is invalid, it is not correct. The way to winning debates is to avoid invalid arguments. Magnify. To magnify something means to make it look bigger than it really is. Astronomers use telescopes to magnify faraway stars. Mainstream. The mainstream is a group of ideas that are considered normal and accepted. Before punk rock music became part of the mainstream, only a few people liked it. Microbe. A microbe is a very small living thing that often makes people sick. The first step in curing a disease is finding the microbe that causes the disease. Negligible. If something is negligible, it is extremely small and not important. The amount she owed was negligible. It was less than ten cents. Paralysis. Paralysis is the loss of the ability to move all or part of your body. His paralysis meant that he had to use a wheelchair to get around. Pest. A pest is an animal or insect that hurts plants or food. Many farmers put up scarecrows to keep pests off of their corn. Prevail. To prevail means to be accepted or very common. Unfortunately, injustice still prevails in the country's court system. Respiration. Respiration is the act of breathing. Artificial respiration is the best thing to do if someone stops breathing. Rupture. To rupture means to tear or burst open. Sarah put too much water into the balloon and it ruptured. Savage. If something or someone is savage, they are very violent or cruel. Wild animals are very savage when defending their babies. Stun. To stun someone means to make them unable to speak due to surprise or shock. Tim fell off the swing and was too stunned to cry. Susceptible. If one is susceptible to something like disease, they are easily harmed by it. Not eating enough vegetables makes you more susceptible to getting sick. Dangerous bites. There are many animals with dangerous bites in the world, but which one is the worst? Some would say that the elusive short-tailed mamushi has the worst bite. The snake only goes into homes to chase pests such as mice. Otherwise, it stays in the fields where it's dangerous to people who forage for food there. If someone stuns it by accidentally stepping on it, it bites to protect itself. At first, the effects of the bite may seem negligible because it doesn't cause a lot of bleeding. However, after a few moments, the venom induces paralysis in the area where the individual was bitten. Furthermore, the venom can also impede respiration.
If the person doesn't go to the doctor, they are susceptible to kidney deterioration. Others would argue that tigers have the worst bite. Mother tigers are inseparable from their babies and seem to be the gentlest creatures when they are around their young. However, if the babies are threatened, the mother tiger's savage nature prevails. With strong jaws and the ability to move quickly, the tiger can kill someone with one bite. That's because it always tries to bite an important artery when it attacks. If the artery is ruptured, the victim will bleed to death. In the mainstream, animal bites are seen as the most dangerous. But some scientists think this idea is invalid. In fact, the most dangerous bite might be the human bite. When scientists magnified the contents in human saliva, they found about 300 different microbes in it. A human bite can be dangerous if the bacteria enters the body through a cut, which can make people very sick. Furthermore, most people don't realize how serious a human bite can be, so they don't go to the doctor right away. This gives the wound a chance to get infected and cause more problems. New Words and Examples Absurd If something or someone is absurd, they are ridiculous. That group of people making animal noises sounds completely absurd. Anemia Anemia is a blood condition that causes a person to be pale and tired. When she first developed anemia, she became tired often. Aristocracy The aristocracy is the highest class of people in certain societies. Most members of the aristocracy were very well fed. Aristocrat an aristocrat is a person who is of the highest class in certain societies. The aristocrat did not need a job because his family was wealthy. Attire Attire is nice or special clothing. Everyone wore their best attire to the president's daughter's wedding. Craze A craze is a brief and popular activity or object. Wearing bright red socks was a craze when I was in high school. Enlarge to enlarge something means to make it bigger. The classrooms were enlarged over the summer to make room for more students. Excess An excess is an amount of something that is more than needed or wanted. Because it never got cold that winter, many stores had an excess of coats. Feminine If something is feminine, then it has qualities that are commonly related to women. Many of the older people thought his long hair made him look too feminine. Hallmark A hallmark is a unique characteristic of something. Different types of pasta and tomato sauces are hallmarks of Italian food. Pad A pad is a thick piece of soft material used to protect or clean things. Football players wear shoulder pads to keep them safe. Predominant If something is predominant, then it is the most important, common, or strongest. Before cars were invented, Horses were the predominant method of travel. Reputable If someone or something is reputable, then they have a good reputation. The service from the less than reputable company made her angry. Rouge Rouge is a red powder or cream used as makeup on the cheeks or lips. Even when she didn't wear rouge, her cheeks appeared red. Signify To signify means to be a symbol of something. A red octagon is used to signify to stop. Strap A strap is a thin, long piece of fabric used to fasten, carry, or hold something. She put the strap of her purse over her shoulder and walked out of the door. Tangle A tangle is something or many things twisted together. The laces of his shoes were in such a tangle that he could not untie them. Vanity Vanity is excessive pride or love of one's own appearance or things one has done. Her vanity won't allow her to pass a mirror without looking at herself. Vie To vie for something means to compete against others for it. The three boys vied for the prize in the chemistry contest. Vulgar If something or someone is vulgar, then they are rude or lacking in style. Her vulgar behavior got her into trouble with her parents. Dressed to excess If you traveled back in time to the 1700s in Europe, you would laugh when you saw how the aristocracy dressed. Soon you'd realize, though, that the aristocrats of Europe were very serious about their appearance. The predominant style in women's attire was enormous dresses. They were often three times larger than the wearer.
ladies even used pads to enlarge the appearance of their hips and shoulders. On the other extreme, the aristocratic women made their waists appear extremely thin. It took several maids stretching fabric and pulling straps in order to get a lady's waist to the proper thinness. These ladies could barely breathe and often fainted. Pale skin was also a craze, yet this too was done in excess. One could not simply be pale. Instead, she needed to look as if she had anemia. In order to look paler, ladies actually cut themselves daily so they would bleed. The hairstyles, however, were the hallmark of women's fashion. These stood a meter high on the ladies' heads. The columns of hair were a ridiculous tangle of wigs, jewels, flowers, and even stuffed birds. Men's fashion was similarly absurd. Today it would probably seem very feminine. Reputable men wore wigs of long curly hair. Their shoes had large soles or high heels so that they could walk high above the filth on the streets. Furthermore, just like the ladies, the men wore lipstick and put rouge on their cheeks. Their clothes were brightly colored, often purple and pink. They were made from the finest of fabrics and decorated with jewels and lace. The men vied with one another to see who wore the more expensive clothes, for the clothing signified his wealth and status. Both men and women spent huge amounts of money and time on how they looked. Though such vanity would seem vulgar today, 300 years from now, the fashions of our time might also seem completely ridiculous. New Words and Examples Altar An altar is a table used in churches. The altar had many lit candles on it. Arthritis Arthritis is an illness causing pain and swelling in a person's joints. Agatha couldn't play the piano anymore because of her arthritis. Botany Botany is the study of plants. Gardens are the best places for botany. Credible If something or someone is credible, they can be believed or trusted. Dick gave a credible reason for being late and didn't get in any trouble. Deceased If someone is deceased, they are dead. We visited the graves of our deceased grandparents. Deception Deception is the act of lying or tricking someone. The magic looked very real, but it was only deception. Decipher To decipher writing is to figure out what it says. My teacher complained that she couldn't decipher my essay. Dung Dung is solid waste material produced by animals. There was cow dung all over the field. Dusk Dusk is the time in the evening when it begins to get dark. After dusk, Hannah would catch fireflies in the park. Gratify To gratify someone means to please them. Bonnie was gratified after receiving her gift from her parents. Hone To hone something is to improve it and make it very good. Lisa honed her chess skills by hours and hours of practice. Mash To mash something is to crush it so that it is soft. We mashed the hard potatoes and served them for dinner. Ornate If something is ornate, it is decorated with a lot of fancy things. Kim's prom dress was very expensive since it was so ornate. Pneumonia Pneumonia is a dangerous illness causing the lungs to fill with fluid. Elaine got pneumonia after playing outside in the rain without a coat. Psychic When someone is psychic, they know what will happen or what people think. I think my grandmother has psychic abilities because she can predict anything. Psychotic If someone is psychotic, they have a very serious mental illness. The psychotic patient believed he saw things that weren't real. Scope The scope of something is how many people or things it relates to. Modern history has a wide scope. Sinister If something or someone is sinister, they are evil. Bad guys in most movies have sinister laughs. Strife Strife is disagreement or fighting between people or groups. There was a lot of strife between Jim and Lisa about what TV show to watch. Therapeutic If something is therapeutic, it helps to cure a disease or makes you healthier. After a stressful day of working, Phoebe would take a therapeutic bath. Greek Magical Papyri The Greek Magical Papyri is a collection of writing about magic. 
After it was found in the Egyptian desert, it took experts years to decipher it. The text was written in at least three different ancient languages. After many years, experts realized it contained a number of spells that varied greatly in scope. The most common types of magic in the collection dealt with healing illnesses like pneumonia. Some spells also gave advice for treating people with mental illnesses, such as those who became psychotic. Some spells asked for unusual things, like crocodile dung. But botany was an important part of the magic. Many healing spells gave instructions on how to use herbs and plants that were believed to be therapeutic. For example, in order to cure arthritis, the book says that the magician should build an ornate altar. Then he should mash different types of herbs and place them on top of it. At dusk, he is supposed to say a spell so the gods would be gratified. Other parts of the collection describe how to hone one's psychic abilities and how to give credible descriptions of the future. Often the book advised people how to use different objects to tell the future, including tea leaves. Also, one part of the book tells what different dreams might mean. It gives advice for using dreams to tell the future. A small part of the book, however, is more sinister than the rest. It is meant to cause strife and deception. For example, one tells how to give someone warts, while another will make all of the victim's farm animals die. However, if someone's farm animals died as a result of a curse, he could ask a magician to perform magic that makes the deceased come back to life. New Words and Examples Accumulate To accumulate something is to collect a lot of it over time. The mail accumulated in their mailbox while they were on vacation. Aerial When something is aerial, it relates to being in the air or flying. The aerial photographer took pictures from the air balloon. Apparatus An apparatus is a device used for a particular purpose. The campers had an apparatus that showed them their exact location. Avalanche An avalanche is a large amount of snow, ice, and rock falling off a mountain. The avalanche destroyed the mountain village. Consistency Consistency is the state of always behaving in the same way. Her consistency in archery meant that our team had a chance to win. Convection Convection is the flow of hot air through gas or liquid. The weather changed because of convection in the atmosphere. Discharge To discharge someone is to allow them to leave from a place, usually a hospital. I was discharged from the hospital after three days. Intact When something is intact, it is complete and not damaged. Despite being over ten years old, my father's model ship is still intact. Mortal when a person is mortal, they cannot live forever. All people are mortal. Omen An omen is a sign of what will happen in the future. He thought that seeing a black cat in the street was an omen of bad luck. Overcast When the sky is overcast, it is full of clouds and is not sunny. The sky was overcast in the morning, but by noon it was bright again. Poignant when something is poignant, it causes a very strong feeling of sadness. The girls cried at the end of the poignant movie. Ranger A ranger is a person who protects the forest or parks. Peter wanted to be a ranger because he liked spending time outside. Rubble Rubble is piles of broken stone and wood created after a building is destroyed. There was rubble all over the city after the earthquake. Seclude to seclude someone means to keep them away from other people. She was secluded on an island for over a year. Sideways If something moves sideways, then it moves to or from the side. Jim turned sideways in order to slow down and stop his snowboard. Sob To sob is to cry loudly. I sobbed when my youngest daughter got married. Sober when something or someone is sober, they are serious and calm. After the funeral, everybody felt very sober. Speck A speck is a very small mark or amount. A speck of blood appeared where the mosquito bit him. Upbringing An upbringing is the way that someone is taught to behave by their parents. He had a strict upbringing and was never allowed to watch television. The Avalanche Randy was a forest ranger. 
Because of his job, he was secluded in a cabin in the wilderness. One day, the radio reported, "Convection in the atmosphere is causing a lot of clouds to form. A serious storm." Suddenly, the radio went silent. The signal was lost. He went outside and looked at the overcast sky. Anybody else would have taken the dark sky as an omen of a very bad storm, but not Randy. His upbringing had taught him consistency. He had done this job for years, and nothing could stop him. Besides, he thought nothing could hurt him. Today, he had a very important task to do. The snow was starting to pile up high on the mountain. If too much accumulated, it could cause an avalanche. But Randy had an apparatus to get rid of the snow. It used dynamite to shake the snow and make the top layer of snow come down. As the snow started falling, he thought about returning to the office until the storm stopped. But he decided not to. Suddenly, he heard a loud noise behind him. It was an avalanche. He started to run, but within seconds he was knocked sideways and buried by the snow and rubble from an old cabin that had been destroyed. An aerial rescue team came quickly. Randy was just a speck amongst the great pile of snow, but the team found him thanks to his brightly colored jacket. They quickly took him to a hospital. After a few hours, Randy woke up in the hospital. He looked at the sober faces of the doctors and saw his wife sobbing. "What's wrong?" he asked. He didn't remember what had happened. "You were almost killed," his wife said. "You broke several ribs." But the rest of you is still reasonably intact. You are really lucky to be alive," the doctor said. After five days, Randy was discharged from the hospital. The experience had taught him a poignant lesson: he was a mortal, and nature was much more powerful than him. New words and examples. Attic. An attic is a room just below a house's roof. There were two windows in their attic. Chunk. A chunk is a thick, solid piece of something. When they broke open the rock, they saw it was filled with chunks of gold. Civic. If something is civic, then it is related to a town or city, especially its government. Most of the important civic buildings are located downtown. Descent. A descent is a movement downwards. During the space shuttle's descent, the Earth became larger and larger. Din. A din is loud, unpleasant, and extended noise. The din of the rusty machinery made the factory a horrible place to work. Dissatisfy. To dissatisfy someone means to fail to please them. He was dissatisfied with his meal. Fuss. A fuss is excited or annoyed behavior that is not useful in any way. The child made an awful fuss because she didn't want to go to bed. Gourmet. If food is gourmet, then it is nicer and more expensive than regular food. In order to get a gourmet meal, you have to eat at an expensive restaurant. Hence, if something happens, hence, then it happens as a result of something. John forgot the key. Hence, we couldn't open the door. Intrinsic. If something is intrinsic, then it is related to the basic nature of that thing. Paper money has no intrinsic value. It is useful simply because society says it is. Kettle. A kettle is a large metal pot used for boiling liquids or cooking food. The soup was being cooked in a large kettle. Ministry. A ministry is a government department. The Ministry of Trade is responsible for taxing imports and exports. Ordeal. An ordeal is a bad experience. Driving in the snowstorm was an ordeal she'd never forget. Outspoken. If someone is outspoken, then they are not afraid to say what they think. She was an outspoken critic about the new banking laws. Overwork. To overwork someone means to make them tired with too much work. After working for three weeks with only one day of rest, Judy was overworked. Particular. If something is particular, then it is a single important part of a group of things. The dress shop didn't have the particular dress she was looking for. Pungent. If something is pungent, then it tastes or smells strong and sharp. The garlic made the soup taste so pungent that the chef wouldn't serve it. Snore. 
To snore means to make a loud noise each time a sleeping person breathes. It was impossible to get to sleep because my husband snored. Soundly. If something is done soundly, then it is done in the best or most complete way. The nearest opponent was ten meters behind. She won the race soundly. Superintendent. A superintendent is a person who runs a certain department or building. The superintendent decided to close the schools because of the weather. The butler's bad day. The superintendent of civic projects was a busy man. He worked every day of the week and had fancy parties at his house every night. However, if there was someone busier than him, it was his butler. He worked all day organizing the superintendent's parties and then cleaned up after them late at night. Hence, while the superintendent slept soundly, snoring loudly in his bed, the butler was still awake. Sadly, though the butler was always overworked, his profession's intrinsic nature demanded he never be outspoken. Therefore, his employer never knew the butler hadn't slept for several days. On any day, the butler might make a mistake. One day, the superintendent said, "This particular party is important. People from the ministry are coming." Everything must be perfect. The butler began preparing at once. First, he went to the attic to get more chairs and tables. But on his descent, he realized he needed to make the food. A gourmet dinner was necessary for such a party. He boiled water in a kettle for soup and chopped some beef into chunks. Just as he was starting the soup, he remembered that he had to sweep the veranda. As he was sweeping the veranda. He realized that he had to clean the sauna. By this time, the first guests had arrived. The veranda was still dirty. There were not enough chairs for the guests to sit on, and the soup tasted too pungent. Some guests were dissatisfied. They started to make a fuss, and the party was filled with a din of complaints. The superintendent's party was a disaster. He wondered why his butler had made so many mistakes. At last. The butler admitted to being exhausted. His boss felt pity for the butler. He had no idea the butler was so tired. He said, "You should have told me earlier. Then we could have avoided this whole ordeal." New words and examples. Arduous. When something is arduous, it demands great effort or labor. The explorers began their arduous hike up the steep mountain. Attain. To attain something means to gain or achieve it, often after a lot of effort. In two more years, I will attain my high school diploma. Coexist. To coexist with something means to exist with it in the same time and place. Our pets coexist at our home with little or no problems. Conceive. To conceive something means to be able to imagine or believe it. The child could not conceive the actual size of the earth. Dubious. When something or someone is dubious, they are not considered honest. The police thought that the man's description of the crime was dubious. Ego. An ego is a person's sense of their own worth. Kelly's ego made her think that she was some kind of a superhero. Elastic. Elastic is a rubber that stretches when it is pulled. He attached the elastic bungee to his legs before he jumped off the platform. Endeavor. An endeavor is an attempt to do something, especially something new or original. The company's new advertising endeavor ended in a horrible failure. Engrave. To engrave means to cut a design or words into the surface of something. The couple engraved their names onto the old pine tree. Excavate. To excavate means to dig on land and remove dirt to look for something. The team wishes to excavate the site in hopes of finding fossils. Jagged. When something is jagged, it has a tough, uneven shape or edge. The swimmer was hurt when he fell onto the jagged rocks. Locale. A locale is a small area or place where something specific happens. The spa was the perfect locale for my mother to relax and enjoy her vacation. Mold. A mold is a hollow container that is used to make certain shapes. Using a cupcake mold will ensure that they come out just right. Outright. When something is outright, it is open and direct. 
Everyone knew that the boy's story was an outright lie. Periphery. The periphery of an area, place, or thing is the edge of it. A beautiful floral pattern is on the periphery of the stationery. Plaster. Plaster is a smooth paste that gets hard when it dries. He used plaster to fill in the cracks in the old walls. Shovel. A shovel is a tool with a long handle that is used for digging. The boy grabbed his shovel and got all of the snow off of the sidewalk. Skeletal. When something is skeletal, it relates to bones in the body. We studied the skeletal system in anatomy class. Terrestrial. If something is terrestrial, it relates to Earth. There are billions of terrestrial life forms. Vicious. When something or someone is vicious, they are violent and cruel. The vicious dog tried to bite the small child. The fossil hunters. Tim and Dean were great fossil hunters. They were the very best at finding dinosaur bones. Although Tim and Dean were quite similar, they were outright enemies. The two men got into vicious arguments all the time. They couldn't coexist peacefully because their egos were too large. Tim thought he was the best fossil hunter, while Dean was sure that he was much better than Tim. One day, Tim was searching for fossils on the periphery of the city when he discovered a huge bone. He had never seen anything like it. He took a shovel and carefully excavated the dirt around it. As he dug, he uncovered more jagged bones. He realized that he had found an entire dinosaur skeleton. Tim couldn't conceive a plan to remove the huge skeleton all by himself. Such an endeavor would be too arduous. He needed help. He tried to think of people who would be capable of helping him remove the skeleton without breaking it. The only person Tim could think of was Dean, his enemy. Tim ran into the city to find Dean. Tim found him and said, "Dean, I found the skeletal remains of a huge terrestrial animal, but I can't get the skeleton out by myself. Will you please help me?" Dean thought that Tim's claim might be dubious. He replied, "If you're serious about the skeleton, I'll help." Tim excitedly showed Dean the skeleton's locale. They worked together to carefully remove each bone, and to keep the bones together, they tied them with elastic strips. When they were finished, they had attained a perfect skeleton. They used plaster to make a mold of the dinosaur's skull. They engraved their initials into it and gave it to the curator of a local museum. Tim and Dean found out that they could work very well together. They decided to end their feud and become friends. By combining their talents, the men became even greater than they were before. New words and examples. Alleviate. To alleviate pain or suffering means to make it less intense or severe. She needed something to alleviate the pain in her back. Astrology. Astrology is the study of the stars and the belief that they influence people's lives. Jack, who studies astrology, believes that the stars can predict the future. Differentiate. To differentiate things or people is to show the difference between them. It was hard to differentiate between the identical twins. Disrupt. To disrupt something or someone is to prevent them from working. The loud crash disrupted the class lecture. Equation. An equation is a math operation to determine the value of something. I used the Pythagorean theorem to solve the equation. Error. To err means to make a mistake. The pilot erred in his estimate of the time it would take to make the trip. Erroneous. When something is erroneous, it is incorrect or only partly correct. The child held the erroneous belief that time machines were real. Frantic. If people or things are frantic, they behave in a wild way because they are frightened. The cat became frantic when I tried to give it a bath. Hull. The hull of a boat or tank is the main body of it. After the wreck at sea, the ship's hull was the last part to sink. Inadvertent. When an action is inadvertent, it is done without realizing what you are doing. She made an inadvertent error when she knocked over the nail polish. Improvise. To improvise something is to do it with whatever is available or without planning. There was no meat for the pizza. 
So we improvised with what was in the fridge. Latitude. The latitude of a place is its distance from the equator. The device was able to tell the traveler his exact latitude. Mariner. A mariner is a sailor. The old mariner used his telescope to find the shore. Multitude. A multitude of things or people is a very large number of them. A multitude of people were waiting at the airport. Nuisance. A nuisance is a person or thing that is annoying or causes a lot of problems. The teenager considered her nosy little brothers to be quite a nuisance. Permanence. The permanence of something is its ability to last forever. Poor results will threaten the permanence of the new teaching system. Revolve. To revolve around something is to keep it as the main feature or focus. My life revolves around sports. Soothe. To soothe means to calm someone who is angry or upset. The mother soothed her crying baby by rocking him in her arms. Stranded. If someone is stranded, they are prevented from leaving a place. When the plane left, my sister and I were stranded in China. Volatile. When something is volatile, it is likely to change suddenly and unexpectedly. The volatile volcano might explode at any moment. The North Star. Among the multitude of stars in the universe, there are a couple that are of great importance to people on Earth. The Sun, of course, is one of them. The other is known as Polaris, the North Star. Polaris is special because it is the only star that always appears to be in the same place in the sky. Therefore, Polaris is a great compass. When people in the northern hemisphere of Earth look toward Polaris, they can be certain that they are facing north. The permanence of Polaris in the north sky has helped countless people find their destinations. Before the invention of modern navigation tools, mariners relied on Polaris. From the top of their hulls, sailors would look for Polaris to figure out their place at sea. They figured out the angle between the star and the horizon to determine their latitude. As long as the equations weren't erroneous, the results were very reliable. Polaris also let sailors determine north, south, east, and west. By knowing directions and their location, mariners could easily navigate their ships. To those who sail at night, volatile storms and dark clouds were more than nuisances. They could disrupt entire journeys by blocking the view of Polaris. A captain could err. And make an inadvertent wrong turn, the ship could become stranded at sea, and the frantic captain would have no way to improvise to get the ship back on the right course. The mariners' fears wouldn't be soothed until the clouds cleared and Polaris came back into view. Even today, sailors sometimes opt to navigate by using Polaris on clear nights. It's not difficult to differentiate Polaris from other stars. The Big Dipper, a constellation that is well known in astrology, appears to revolve around Polaris. The handle of the Big Dipper always points to the North Star. When people get lost, it's comforting to know that their problems can be alleviated by looking at the sky. New words and examples. Congested. If something is congested, it is full or blocked. Tom didn't get home until after dark because the road was so congested. Courier. A courier is someone who takes and delivers mail or packages. Before trains, most couriers used horses to travel. Deform. To deform something means to change it from its correct or original shape. The computer program deformed the building's picture into an unreal sight. Etiquette. Etiquette is the group of rules about how to be polite. When in Asian countries, bowing is a form of etiquette. Exclusive. If something is exclusive, it is expensive and only for rich people. The golf course was so exclusive that most people hadn't even heard of it. Freight. Freight is a set of items carried on a train, boat, or airplane. Trade ships only carried valuable freight like silk and spices. Garment. A garment is a piece of clothing. The businessman had all of his garments cleaned before the important meeting. Insomnia. Insomnia is a condition in which a person has difficulty sleeping. Nate's insomnia prevented him from getting enough rest. Intuitive. Intuitive is knowing about something without naturally having support or proof. 
Rhonda had an intuitive feeling that Shane wasn't coming to school today. Liable. If something is liable to happen, it is very likely that it will happen. During the summer months, hikers in the forest are liable to see deer and elk. Obsess. To obsess about something means to think about it all of the time. After watching the Star Wars movies, Ike obsessed about becoming a Jedi. Overboard. When something is overboard, it is over the side of a boat and in the water. Tom and Gary slipped on the wet floor and fell overboard. Premium. A premium is a payment that is higher than average. Tony paid for premium gas because it made his car run the best. Privilege. A privilege is a special right given to only a certain person or group of people. Only the best employee had the privilege of parking in that spot. Propel. To propel something means to push or move it somewhere. The strong wind propelled the leaf through the air and across the street. Socialize. To socialize is to have a good time with people. I like to socialize with my classmates after school. Suppress. To suppress something means to prevent it from happening. She suppressed her urge to scream because she didn't want to be noticed. Tram. A tram is a vehicle like a streetcar that runs on electricity above ground. I took the tram to Eighth Avenue. Unsettle. To unsettle someone means to make them anxious or worried. The dark clouds in the sky unsettled Beth. Warp. To warp means to become bent into the wrong shape. The woman put the clock above the fireplace, and the heat warped it. Watch out! Kevin stepped off the tram and walked toward the ship, holding a package tightly in his hands. He had been hired as a courier for an important broker. All he needed to do was deliver a package to an office in New York City. The ship would take him there. When he boarded, the ship was congested with people. As Kevin walked to his cabin, he saw the exclusive first-class section. Everybody inside was wearing fancy garments. He would have liked to socialize with the people inside, but it was against proper etiquette. People paid a premium for the privilege to ride in first class. Instead, he went to his cabin next to the freight section of the boat. His room smelled bad, and the floorboards were warped and deformed in some areas. He could also hear the motor humming as it waited to propel the ship forward. Suddenly, Kevin was unsettled by something, but he wasn't sure why. He took a short walk on the ship's deck, but he still felt strange. That night, he suffered from insomnia. He couldn't suppress his obsessing over how strange he felt. Kevin went back on deck. It was cold and dark outside. He looked overboard, but it seemed that everything was all right. Just go back inside, he thought. Then Kevin saw it. A giant iceberg was sticking out of the ocean in the distance. Help! He yelled. People looked at him as if he was crazy, but he continued to shout until he saw the captain. There's an iceberg out there, Kevin said to him. If the ship doesn't move, we're liable to crash, he said, pointing toward the iceberg. The captain saw it and immediately instructed the crew to change the ship's direction. Without your help, we would have definitely hit the iceberg. That would have been a terrible disaster, he said to Kevin. Kevin felt relieved. Now he knew to always trust his intuitive sense.